Hello folks, welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you quickly how to upload a Podium Panorama render to Facebook. Now if you're following the SU Podium Facebook page, you've probably seen this already, but if not, Facebook now supports embedded 360 degree content, which means you can upload your panorama renders from SU Podium and have them display on the timeline as interactive Pano VR presentations. So this is extremely easy to do. After you have a finished panorama render like this one, all we need to do is edit the metadata of the image so that Facebook recognizes it as interactive 3D content. And before I show you how to do this, I just want to make two quick points. Uh, the first is that it does need to be a JPEG image. PNG files don't carry any metadata or EXIF information, which is what Facebook uses to recognize 360 degree content. So if you've rendered to PNG, just go ahead and convert it to JPEG before finishing this process. And the other point is that the image does need to be in exactly a two to one aspect ratio. Now this shouldn't be a problem because Podium renders two to one by default when you choose the panorama option. But I just want to make that point for anyone who's doing a lot of post-processing on their images. Um, you can resize the image, just make sure you keep it in the two to one aspect ratio. Uh, because even if it's off by one pixel, Facebook's not going to recognize it as interactive content. OK, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and browsed to the image file on my hard drive. And to add metadata to the image, what we want to do is right click, go all the way down to Properties to bring up the Properties window. Now in the Properties window, I'm going to click the Details tab and then scroll down to the Camera section. So the two fields that we're interested in are Camera Maker and Camera Model. What we need to do is add information here from a recognized 360 degree camera. And the one Facebook recommends in their documentation is the Ricoh Theta S. So that's what I'm going to use. So if I click on Camera Maker, I'm going to type in Ricoh, R-I-C-O-H, and then Ricoh Theta S. And click Apply and OK. That information does need to be typed exactly as I entered it, so I'll put it in the comments and I'll also link to the Facebook documentation in case you need to look it up later on. So after we've added our metadata to the image, the only thing left to do is upload it to Facebook. I've opened up the SU Podium Facebook page. I'm going to browse to the image here. Remember, it's the JPEG, not the PNG. Click Open. And Facebook's automatically going to show you that it's a 360 degree photo. You'll see a little globe icon and it'll also mention 360 right here. Um, in a second, a little thumbnail is gonna pop up. I'm just gonna say, test pano, and we'll wait until that's finished uploading. There, it's ready to go, and I'm just gonna publish it. And there we are. Our panoramic render is uploaded to Facebook.